Why does the US have far higher rates of foodborne disease than the UK? Is chlorinated chicken safe? And will it be legalized in the UK through a post-Brexit trade deal? Each year in the US, roughly 48 million people get sick from contaminated food. Around 128,000 are hospitalized and 3,000 die. Chicken is washed with chlorine or other chemicals, which is illegal in Europe. It's used to remove germs created through lower farming and animal welfare standards. The UK holds an A rating in the World Animal Protection Index. It's a low bar, but the US only achieves a D overall, and specifically for farm animals. Only 11 of the 50 states limit the use of the most restrictive confinement systems. Veal crates, in which calves can't walk or turn around and are often chained by the neck. Sow crates, where most pregnant pigs are kept in the US. And restrictive battery cages for laying hens, where most US eggs are produced. These systems are largely banned in Europe due to the well-documented physical and mental suffering they cause. 34 of the 50 states specifically exclude livestock from anti-cruelty provisions, and recent experiments suggest it's not only the animals that pay the price. One study examined chlorine-washed bacteria, including salmonella, which causes over a million illnesses each year in the US, around 450 of them fatal. It found that many bacteria were not killed, but entered a dormant state, making them undetectable in standard lab tests. When the chlorine-washed bacteria was introduced to roundworms, they all died. Dr. Keevil said this may explain many unrecognized or untraceable disease outbreaks, and warned that allowing chlorinated chicken into the UK may not be safe. The EU says that high farming standards are the best way to fight salmonella and other bacteria. And in 2016, there were no deaths from salmonella in the UK. The Trump administration is pressuring Britain to accept chlorinated chicken, along with hormone-injected beef, in return for a trade deal after Brexit. A poll found that 72% of the public are against it, but the UK trade minister says there are no health reasons to avoid chlorine-washed meat. Is it true that we will change our regulations, our food standards, to accommodate a deal with America? We have no intentions of, of reducing our standards. We've said on a number of occasions uh, that we think the British standards and protection for the consumer, so you will for then the environment, rule out, for the workers. Rule out chlorine-washed chicken. It's a very well, simple thing. There is no health issue with that. Uh, the European Union has said that is perfectly safe. If Theresa May's Brexit deal passes, animal welfare and human health will become bargaining chips, and the odds will be stacked against us. Welcome to Great Britain, self-obsessed with its own importance, whilst being fed for breakfast to any and all trading blocks who are feeling a bit peckish. It's going to be brutal. China, Japan, the US, they're all, all circling for their Brexit dividend. In his book, Trump described mutually beneficial deals as a bunch of crap. In a great deal, you win, not the other side. You crush the opponent and come away with something better for yourself. To help shatter the illusions with more videos on Brexit and other issues, visit us on Patreon. You'll find infographics and custom torches to help rage against the dying of the light in the comments, in a friendly, helpful way, of course. And consider subscribing if you're enjoying this as much as we are.